Thank you, Madison. That was the perfect start to a new school year, and we are very proud that you are an alumna of MSMS. Before we end and start officially the 2024-2025 school year, uh, I would like to invite Ms. Karen Clay, who is an alumna also of MSMS, uh, to, this, to the uh, podium for some words. Oh, hello. Um, well, can we give Madison Eccles another round of applause? So incredible, and of course I had no idea what she was going to say, and I have been tasked to give you a special announcement, and so I'm going to stand up here for just a little bit longer, but um, what's incredible is I, it's interesting to me, it seems like at these convocations, the speakers who share with you about their experience often talk about that red ink on a paper your junior year that you weren't expecting to get. For me, it was Dr. Scott Curtis, and I remember it. At the top of my paper, he had written, my conclusion is, a, or your conclusion is a disaster. <laughs> and it is something that stuck with me. But I appreciate what you said because you were so right to get beyond that and to grow. So thank you um, for those remarks. So special announcement. But before I do, I'd like to give a very brief <laughs> history lesson. And I have a legal disclaimer for, for all of you. This history lesson will be in no way, shape, or form the quality of what you get here at MSMS from professors like Chuck Yarbrough, but I am going to try my best. And so similar to what Madison said, as I agree, you have already made incredible achievements in your academic career to get you where you are. And I know you made sacrifices, seniors and juniors, to be here. You left the familiarity of home, the familiarity of your former school and friends, because you wanted something different. You wanted to create a path for yourself. And I admire you for it, and I respect you for it. I think it's probably because you had a vision of wanting more, more than what the circumstances that you left behind could offer. You have a vision for yourself of what you want to achieve, what you want to learn, who you want to become, and that is why you are here. And so my hope for you while you are here at MSMS is that you feel a connection to this campus and a connection to the vision that created both the W and MSMS, as these two institutions are so incredibly intertwined, as you are now a part of the tapestry that exists here, as you have class in these historic buildings 23 of which are on the National Historic Register, as you, walk the so as you walk on the sidewalks underneath the mighty oaks in the shade of the ginkgo trees, from South Campus to your duly renovated performing arts classroom in Shattuck, I want you to think about the people like Madison Eccles, and even before that, the people who came before you. In 1884, the W was founded on a radical idea of offering public education for women. Prior to the W, it had never been done before. So the W's claim to fame is that it is the first, and let me say that again, the first public college in the United States for women. Of course, for 40 plus years, the W has been offering a quality education to women and men, but its origin story is that it was the first. It involved providing access to education where there had been none. Fast forward about 100 years of the W's founding, and we can discover MSMS's origin story. Governor William Winter had a radical idea that Mississippi should provide better educational opportunities for students, particularly in places where there was none. He was a steadfast advocate for education and passed the Education Reform Act in 1982, which made Mississippi the first, and I'm going to say that again, the first in the United States to require public kindergarten. So at that time, Mississippi is making unprecedented strides in history by creating mandated early childhood education Governor William Winter was also pursuing a vision that our state should offer a specialized education just for you. He wanted the state 
to have a residential high school for the most gifted juniors and seniors, the best and the brightest. So after years of research and many advocates petitioning the state legislature, the Lowndes County, this county board of supervisors gave a significant financial contribution to help fund the start of this school. And the first class arrived in 1988. And so we mentioned um, our founding faculty, um, Emma Richardson, is, who is here. There were 12, 12 original faculty. And of those 12 original faculty, six of them were W graduates. They are Linda Bridges, Kathy Cadden, Mary Davidson, Nancy McNeil, Judy Morris, and Helen Perry. I consider myself lucky because I knew all of them and was taught by three of them at MSMS. They were incredible W graduates and incredible MSMS faculty who believed and carried out that vision for MSMS, helping to shape your school what it is today. So in their honor, the W has created a special scholarship for all MSMS graduates called the MSMS Power of Six. We want to be the first this year to offer the seniors and the juniors a full tuition four-year academic scholarship. This means that you are being awarded full tuition with a value of over $35,000. With over 70 majors and concentrations, we have something for you here. If you are interested in nursing, as a profession as a, or as a pathway to medical school or medical research, there's a place for you here. If you're interested in culinary arts, we have the only bachelor's program in the state that combines a liberal arts education with the latest culinary technology and advancement. There's a place. Or if you want to be in education and want to follow the path of the power of six, there is a place for you. Undoubtedly, you will have choices and you will have many opportunities. So I can encourage you to take a look at what is here right in your own backyard, because you may be surprised by what the double you can offer you and how that pathway may fit with the vision you have for yourself. Our admissions counselors will be in your lobby for lobby later today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. They have certificates for all of the seniors and it will be there to answer any questions that you have. Please stop by and see them. And I wish you all the best this year. <laughs>